Hi guys, um, this is another <coughs> new to me brand which is uh, Mud Poppy and I honestly I don't know anything about this brand but the first time I've seen a Mud Poppy puzzle that was at Dillard's and um, Hallmark. I think they do have that online also um, at Macy's. Anyway, I got this from um, home goods and it was on clearance and I only paid six dollars um, retail price for this is $19.99 plus tax so it's the same uh, price range as that of a Ravensburger all right so um, this is only a thousand piece puzzle guys but this is one of the puzzles where I did um, spend a lot of time on this uh, puzzle because in the theme is all over the place as you can see all the colors all the same colors are dis distributed all throughout so it was kind of hard but I did um, enjoy it because uh, I really really um, love the quality normally if a puzzle is very very difficult like I want to tear my hair out I would be more frustrated if um, you know the quality is very very inferior but on this one for some reason um i didn't i didn't mind but i had to i didn't finish normally a 1000 piece puzzle would be like probably in two sittings only remember i do not sit down all throughout the day or do any 12 hour marathon or 24 hours i've been seeing online no way i cannot do any of that sometimes i only start at 10 p.m that's when i'm all done with my chores so that's my pleasure guilty pleasure time and then i would finish whenever i want like normally at 12 and then come back again the next day same time so uh, i think it would take me four or five hours for a 1000 piece puzzle but uh, that depends on the um, level of difficulty uh, if it does not have a theme well i would say this is like not a not something where you know it's uh, it's gonna be easy you know there's a thing if there's like nature then you know where everything is the trees and mountains and sky you know where everything is but this one is just all over the place all right so let's start off with the box the box is pretty good it's actually luxurious it's very very hard tough I would I should say I should say uh, I have no issues with the box okay it's it's just um it's better than of course seco and it's better than buffalo so it's it's pretty good all right so okay and it came with a a poster with a poster that didn't help very much though but at least you know the poster is more elaborate than this one because um uh, it's cut here so this one would be more elaborate and so it has all the edges present here okay so it's really really good so as you can see I got it for eight no for only for six dollars okay normally these puzzles are priced at $19.99 same price range as that of a Ravensburger I'm sorry guys uh, I'm just rambling on and on right now because I did attempt to make a video uh, but then you know there's the UPS guy so there may have been some things that I've already said I'm not even sure because I had to wait for the um, UPS guy and then his scanner didn't work I had to wait for like for five or ten minutes and then come back again so all right so <laughs> so there okay now um, first thing guys the quality of this one is very very superior it's I'm very very impressed uh, to start off the box was good well price range was good for me because they got it for um, a clearance section and there was no puzzle dust as you can see zero puzzle dust it was very very clean I did not have to have a strainer I just poured it out it was really really clean okay and I have had no issues on um, this puzzle uh it's just really really good so they have the standard shape puzzle look at that standard shape 
no goofy or um, odd shapes at all. Look at the back, it's really, really clean. Very, very clean. Okay, and the colors are really, really vibrant. Vibrant and really glossy. Um, normally, the downside to that is that the, it would have a glare effect, but the, this one did not have any glare. I did not have any problems with, you know, uh, glare or whatever. So it's really, really good. It's very, very, um, the color is vibrant. I love it. And um, it's okay. It did not, this is really, really tough. It's not, um, it's really, really, you cannot bend it. It's tough. And I did not have any peeling issues. And the issue, number one thing to look for, um, when it comes to quality puzzles that it should not it should not um be the pieces should only fit in one in one you know it's not like some pieces would fit all over the place this one does not so you would know exactly where it fits so that's you know um really really good and what else um yeah you cannot peel it you cannot bend it so peeling issue has been my uh, problem with Ravensburger because if I try to do this it peels I have long nails it's still you know this doesn't peel at all so it's really really good so I would say 10 out of 10 <laughs> and I'm going to um, get more hopefully um, you know I'll see some in the clearance uh, section okay so let me just show you the picture you can see it's really, really good. It's, it's very, very vibrant and like polished. It's, it's, it's like I want to, that it looks like Yoko Ono. Love wins. So it has, um, yeah, I struggled with the faces, guys. <laughs> and I struggled with the pinks and the purple i mean the blues and the purples because and the yellows they're all over the place so i think the first one that i did was this yoko ono thing but even then this one shares the same the same so the level of difficulty on this one's really 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 hard i would say you know eight out of ten or probably nine out of ten because it took me a long time i think five days to to build this because i wasn't sure well yesterday I, I had to attend mass it was ash wednesday yesterday so i did not do any of this for like a day or two and then i came back so i think that's probably why it, it took me five days to finish this okay so there you go it's it's impressive box and um no puzzle dust no glare right pieces fit together and uh, yeah so that's it i would rate this 10 out of 10 i'm very very impressed okay there you go bye